Hello guys, I have here a system that has consisted of a PLC S7 300 Zeman Cinematic S7 and a HMI display. Uh, on the display, uh, you see a container. It has uh, two sensors, uh, sensor one and sensor two. Uh, sensor one is on the bottom, sensor two is on the top. And I also have two uh, inlet valve, Q0.0 and Q0.0, the same addresses. These two inlet valves uh, allow the liquid to go to the inside the container. I have a steerer motor. It's uh, connected to address Q0.1 and also an outlet valve, Q0.02. This system has two modes of operation, manual and, and uh, automatic. When I push uh, I5, I05, it goes, toggles between manual and automatic. When I push I2, it turns the inlet valves, both of them in the same time on or off. And you see this, LED, when it's on, it's LED is on. Also Q, the related Q is on. IO3 turns the steerer motor on and off. And IO4 finally sets the outlet valve on and off. As you see this arrow, when it's on, it shows that water is going out out of the container. As I said before, by pressing IO5, you go from automatic to manual or vice versa. Also, on the display, you can push IO5 on the display and to, to check, to change the system to function either as manual or or automatic. This is the whole definition of the system. You are required to write a program that functions as I will show you in a few seconds. And uh, this is an example for you to work it out. Have a good time. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller-based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content I will be posting through the channel. Problem description. We wish to write a PLC control program using Siemens Cinematic S7300 PLC to control and mix two brands of liquids in a tank using the following field devices. One, the control of liquid flow using input IO2 and output IO4 inlet valves. 2. A steerer motor, IO3. 3. Two modes of operation, automatic, manual mode. In manual mode, the inlet, outlet, and mixer valves are controlled by the first to the third push buttons, IO2, IO4, and IO3, respectively. By pressing IO3, the mixer is turned on, and by Pressing it for the second time, the mixer is turned off. In automatic mode, by pressing the IO2 push button, two inlet valves open simultaneously until sensor IO.0 detects the liquid level. Then the inlet valves are closed and the mixer will be activated for five seconds. At the end of 5 seconds, 
the mixer will turn off and the output valve will open. When the liquid level inside the tank reaches sensor 1, which indicates the tank is empty, the outlet valve will close and the inlet valve will open automatically again and the process will be repeated. To stop the process, the first push button or I0.2 must be pressed again. Note that the stop operation will take place at the end of the current process and before the start of the next process, opening of the inlet valves. Okay guys, here you see a system that has consisted of a, a HMI display device and a PLC that is on the bottom of it. And as you see, it shows a container. It has two sensor level sensors, sensor one and sensor two. It has a steering motor. It has outer valve that is controlled by uh, Q002, two level sensors I01 and I02, and two inlet valves that I can control by pushing I02, and it has two manual, two way of working, manual and automatic. When I push I05, it changes from manual to automatic. That's being said, when I push this part of the LCD, you see empty, that means this sensor is off. Now this sensor is off and you see the text empty, empty. So when I want to say the container is full, I put this on and this put on. That means container is still here, the liquid is still here. I can turn on and off these valves as I said. Right now it's off, right now it's on. I also turn this on, on and off. It's up now. Okay, now in manual mode, I can control any of these field devices manually. I can set these two valves off or on. I can set this motor to turn on or off. I can push these two sensors on right now or off right now, also off right now. I can control this outlet valve by pushing I04. That's it. These are the functionality of this program in manual mode. I can push this I05 because this uh, setting and resetting to manual or automatic, it controlled by IO5, as well is right here, as you can see. All right. Now, in automatic mode, system right now is saying, okay, the container is empty, so I need to fill it up. So those, these, these two valves are pulling the, pushing, uh, pulling the water or liquids. So I can turn this on. That means the liquid level is still here. So this push this to set it on. So you see automatically the steering motor is on and now outlet valve is on. So the liquid is going out of the system. So I come back here. I have to set these two sensors again to restart the next cycle. So I say, okay, this is full, this is full. And now the, the van is setting is on, so it's liquid is getting out. So I come here and set this off. Means water is still here. Set this off. Remember, this turned off. Now system is putting liquid inside the container to fill it up. So I come back here again to start a new cycle. I say, okay, liquid is still here. So I set this on. 
I also set this on. Okay, motor is turned on for five seconds, and then valve is on, so liquid is getting out of the container. So again, I repeat it. I tell system the container is half off, half full, and now it's empty completely. Again, cycle is started. Liquids are coming in. I say now it's half full, complete. Motor is on and cycle repeats again by itself. These are the whole definition of this system. So now we are required to write a program that functions the way I illustrated here. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.